What's going on everyone? I apologize you can't see much in this video. I just wanted to talk about the Pen Battle 2 combo I had just gotten. This one is the 8000 which is the largest size they make. It runs about 150 bucks which I think is a pretty good value. The reel is pretty impressive, it puts down 30 pounds of drag and the spool holds a lot of line. The gold trim gives it really great aesthetics also. Prior to this one I had the Pen Fierce 2 which I lost when my kayak rolled in Myrtle Beach which you can see in a previous video on my YouTube channel. The main upgrade I found between the Fierce 2 and the Battle 2 with the 8000 is well, the Battle has an extra 5 pounds of drag and one more ball bearing, but the most important difference is that the Battle has a much better drag system. The Fierce had a felt drag system, which over time I had problems with, but the drag system on the Battle is smoother and doesn't tighten up over time. And onto the rod, I really like this rod that the Battle 2 8000 comes with. I do a lot of snagging and throwing bunker chunks with heavy weights on them. Both of which require heavy power rods capable of throwing heavy weights. And this rod is rated for 2 to 6 ounce lures, which is really high, especially when shopping for a combo. The one downfall of this rod, which separates it from the Spin Fisher, which is one model up in Penn's lineup, is that this reel is not sealed for underwater use. You really can't be submerging this reel. Uh, you know, it doesn't have the gaskets that seal it off on the inside. But overall, I think it's a really good value for a heavy duty saltwater combo. So now I'm about to beach this bluefish, and I've been reeling it in ever so careful because I had one earlier and it cut itself off right at the very end. I'm just using the pre made snails I bought from Field and Stream. And they're probably only using 40 pound mono, which when it comes to a bluefish's teeth, it can cut through it pretty easily. And there you'll see it. It's not a big one at all, probably four to five, maybe six pounds. Everyone worries about striped bass, but bluefish have really been on the decline. And that's really been noticed, especially this fall. Which is a big problem because bluefish are very important for the ecosystem. They move the bait around, and they actually help the striped bass feed. You know, whenever there's a blitz, there's always bluefish. So I think in the next year or two, we're going to see a change in the bluefish regulations. Thanks for watching the video, and please subscribe to my channel.